Hot D. Season one, episode four. Rhaenyra is learning how to play the Game of Thrones. Boom, 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 boom. Spoilers up ahead. No, that's stupid. That was be- no, that was beautiful. <laughs> no, keep, it, keep it in, guys. Welcome back to Azar. My name is Nick, and I got Kyle here with me. Pecos with a zero. Very talented artist. Go check him out on Instagram. Pecos with a zero. And now we've been covering Hot D for a while now. Since, actually, since episode one. And now we're going to jump into more Hot D. And it's getting hot. It is getting hot, and there is more D. Um, so the thing is, oh, it's so this good. the the first fifteen or twenty minutes of this of this episode were like I was like, wow, things are turning over a new leaf, like reconciliation for the brothers and for Allison and, for everyone and Rhaenyra, yeah, you know, and and I'm like, this is great, and then you know, it just went downhill after that, crash and burn. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh boy. So one thing that we got out of this is, well, at least I got out of it, is like learning how to play the Game of Thrones. Everyone's like realizing um, their task, but how to get it to work for their advantage. Because even even Daemon, he he did that on purpose to get at his brother. And, you know, I mean, so like everyone's doing what they can to kind of get everyone in the back. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's working. It's working for everyone that's trying. Except for Otto. (laughs) Uh, except yeah. for Mr. Hightower himself, who's falling off his Hightower. <laughs> Mr. Otto von Hightower. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Um. So, so basically, what happened was, I don't know. Should we? Re- no, we shouldn't recap. We could we do just, a. You, you can do just, a brief one. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. So, like you know, so uh, 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 Damon comes back. Yep. Wearing a wearing crown. Uh, the uh, the crown. Um. The crown of the narrow sea. Mm-hmm. Um, but he he kneels down before Viserys and says, "Like there's only one king here, and uh, you're it, basically relinquishing his crown." Um, so it's like, "Oh, cool!" Like you know, and it's, and, and it's like brothers reunited, and like everything's you know, <laughs> be you cool. reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> and like, uh, and then they have like a they have you know like a feast with like some pastries and whatnot in front of um, one of the weirwood trees. Every Everything's yep. happening in front of a weirwood tree. And it's That's just a like, nice, cool little spot for soirees. I don't remember there one being in one in King's Landing. So I think it's so funny now that everything happens around a tree. We're like, nothing happened around a tree yeah. in the other. You know what? I'm always beginning to think that thing might be burned or, or chopped down. Oh, you, you never know. It's true. Part of the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so then um, uh, also we get to see that uh, Rhaenyra and Alicent are kind of making up. You know, they're, they're, yeah. they're on the bench over there mm-hmm. and they're... They're all like sisters, you know. Um, yeah, because they're they're start they're starting to bond because they're both kind of forced into a position they don't want to be in. Exactly, men men have essentially made decisions for them, yeah. and they're trying to make the most of the situation, mm-hmm. uh, given d- despite how many things have changed yeah. in their lives. Um, and then, um, you know, then uh, uh, Rhaenyra goes out um, out on a night out on the town yeah. with uh, Daemon through the back door, um, through the back door. And uh, they, you know, she gets to see a little bit of the the like common nightlife, yeah. and uh, and also then they go to a to a brothel. And before um, that, she sees how the peers would judge her, or or yes, she mm-hmm. sees the play. That's yeah. what, thank you for that. Yes, yeah. So she gets to see how the common folk, you know, what their opinion is of the current political situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, and so basically, then they go to a brothel. And then things get a little weird, though not too weird considering they're Targaryens and they have a history of doing such things. Um, but uh, so so that's the thing, though. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I guess all of it was implied, but like I thought like I, I read that Damon couldn't get it up and he left. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, he was I think. Did you watch the the features afterwards? No, actually, oh, okay, okay. I think they they said Should've. something. Um, when I was setting up for the recording, I had it playing, yeah. and they were saying something along the lines like, uh, he lost control of the situation, I think, oh. and then he wasn't in, like, because I think he had like a plan in mind and it went the other way because she started to enjoy it. And I think he was like, you know what I mean? And then it's like he wasn't the one in control, and then he couldn't ah, he hit the wall and he was out. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> it was something okay, like that. Correct know, me if I was okay, wrong, yeah. but I'm pretty sure that's kind of what they were saying afterwards, yeah. kind of thing. And okay. then now they were saying now she sees it as pleasure where like, for example, mm. like um, Allison sees it at more as duty. 
Like it's her duty to have the right. kid, and, th- and then this is more pleasure for her now. That's why when she mm-hmm. came back, she was like, "Yeah, right." Mm-hmm. With Kristen Cole, mm-hmm. yeah. And I kind of mentioned something like that last episode, and you know what? right? That was so. So that scene, that was like actually really like I thought that was really like intimate and like nice. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like cool. You know, uh, although I I I I can imagine Kristen Cole being a a member of the uh, you know the King's Guard. Um, what this means for him if he's ever found out. Yeah, he's done. Not good. He's done. That's yeah, he's done. So um, he doesn't have the the advantage that Jamie Lannister had. <laughs> yeah, Fort- <laughs> fortunately, uh, you know, Rhaenyra unknowingly created a smoke screen for them uh, by the whole Damon thing. So it's a cover, you know. Yeah, the cover. Yeah. So even if they see that she's not, you know, still, you know, saved. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way I'm going to put it. You know, for marriage, they're going to think it's Damon and not him. Mm-hmm. That's why she got sent the special tea. Yeah, the uh, the medieval contraceptive. Yeah, basically, or or, uh, or morning after juice, mm-hmm. you could say. And then, okay, I know I mentioned this in the first episode, but it bugged me again that they had to bring it up the song of ice and fire again. Yes, I was just like. Is that even necessary right now? Like, it's not. I just feel like they're trying to t- combine the two shows like crazy. It's like there's so much better stuff to talk about than this this gloom of the worst probably last season ever on television, which is, you know, the night. You know, it's so bad. I don't even want to be reminded like how bad the last season of Game Game, Game of Thrones was. Like, it's like every time they bring it up, it just reminds me. I'm like, oh no, that's right. There's that final season. <laughs> So, so here's the thing. Two two thoughts. One is, it had been about what, like, three episodes or two two episodes since we had heard anything. Yeah. Of it mentioned. So you know, all right. So they're, they're we can probably expect episode seven. We'll hear something else about. Oh, brief okay. Mention. Um, it's just but not necessary. The, I feel like. And then and then the other thing is, I think this is another play on just like how fate works mm. in that sense. Is it like even though the the uh, the efforts of men try to curb destiny in a certain way mm. it's always going to end up woo swirly doing into its own endpoint, right mm. no matter how much they try so the series is is really trying to drive this this point home because he's like that's why he's very adamant about rhaenyra still being the queen apparent because she right? knows the secret kind of thing right exactly mm. so like he's he's like no now i'm set in i'm set in this course mm. right and and like that's why he kind of views it. That's why he takes it so seriously is because of this prophecy. Yeah, and it's so funny. Like he made it sound like oh, there's a bigger. I never got that from the kings. I always got like the throne was the main thing. And I know he's trying to be more self righteous, saying there's a bigger cause, which is this storm, winter coming kind of thing, ice yeah. and fire. But it's like, dude, I don't know, man. But so <laughs> it's fine. I, I, we don't no. we don't need to linger on no, that for sure. No, no, okay. no, no. That's good. Like. <laughs> No, I mean, like, I mean, you bring up a good point. I, I, I'm just saying that, like, um, we we've already seen from the series that his mind is often wa- often wanders into what I call his mind wanders into eternity. Mm. So he he thinks about the past and the future of the realm, right? Like, I mean, hence his whole his whole like erector set of of uh, you know old Valyria, right? Like him, sort of like, oh yes, this is how it how it yeah. would have been, you know. He's so, a like, learned he, man. He definitely thinks about past, his yeah. both his like where he comes from and like his legacy right so. and i guess prophecies too i guess like the, even last episode exactly with the stag he wanted the white stag you know what i mean so it's right. like this idea of his his legacy is tied with prophecy yeah. basically did you watch the trailer at the end <laughs> no okay so trailer just in case so i'm gonna talk about the trailer for the next episode so if you don't want to hear like, that like, jump off. away <laughs> i know we <laughs> yeah. we like to record as soon as possible so sometimes we watch this stuff and sometimes we don't <laughs> but it looks like it's a wedding episode and what happens with wedding episodes with game of thrones nothing good ever happens with weddings nothing good they comes tend to be a bit red <laughs> or purple <laughs> or purple yeah <laughs> they're always a color so oh, God. it looks like the wedding's gonna happen next episode Okay. And it also looks like the king might be going bye bye, the deep sleep maybe. Uh-oh. So it looks like you know right after the wedding, political stuff, and then sh- she's gonna she's gonna have a huge army at her disposal and dragons now because of the marriage that's gonna happen with the 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 sea serpents. Is that what they call them? The the um. 
Yeah, uh, uh, Corliss Valerian. Yes, but they okay. they call him the Sea Serpent, right? Or the Sea Snake. Uh, the yeah. the Sea Snake. So she's gonna have a huge army at her disposal. So there might be a three army battle going on. I don't know. I'm no expert, but we will see. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we're uh, we're reaching out to all of our uh, Westerosi historians here, uh, you know, calling all experts here. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I, I, I like this episode a lot. And it's so so much fun, like n- watching not adult fantasy, but like <laughs> no, adult fantasy sounds bad. But <laughs> it's so much fun watching a mature, a mature show. Fantasy. Yeah. Yes. It, you know, fa- fantasy show like. Ring, yeah. Rings of Power looks beautiful and stuff like that, but we'll never get anything like this in a, well, we should never get anything like this in a Lord of the Rings right. show. Because, you know, that's not the way the author wanted it to be and the, yeah. with his world. And we respect that and we get something completely different from that. Right. You know what I mean? He, he never wanted it to be Game of Thrones. And Game of Thrones, J- George R. R. Martin never wanted it to be Lord of the Rings. He wanted it different from Lord right. of the Rings. That's why there's more gray characters. It's not just black and white like Lord of the Rings is supposed to be. There will always yeah. be more of a sense of also like yeah. gravitas to a lot of stuff mm, that goes on. Right? Like, yes. Yeah. Like especially this episode, I'm like. All right, we're back in it. This yes. this is what it's all about: the politics, the maneuvering, yeah, it was trails and and it's so yeah. good. And what's so what's so great about these episodes? You get so much c- character development with every episode. Yeah, you always feel so like fulfilled and satisfied. Like, wow, that character went through an arc. You know, like wow, yeah. went from this to this. Now they're this, and then they're and it's uh, the actors do a good job. It looks beautiful. It's shot so well. Thumbs up. I'm really enjoying oh, yeah. this series. When it comes to fantasy, for yeah, sure. I you know I started off being kind of like, man, eh, we'll see, and now I'm like, all I'm, right, I know, all right, hot D. I don't the only right. thing is whenever they try to bring Game Game of Thrones back into it, it's like don't even bring the last season in. Just talk about Tyrion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love Tyrion. <laughs> I miss Tyrion. I want a Tyrion character. I want a, I want a character that drinks a lot and is super wise. <laughs> <laughs> even though it's fun, we're starting to see. Um, Varys was his little birdies again, like the the children in in the city delivering messages yes. and stuff like that. So, was, but they work for the hand of the king, you know. Yeah. So I wonder. So, well, now they're not. Yeah. So I wonder. Maybe we'll see. And obviously, we're not going to see, but the connection of how it could have got passed down to Venera. It's you know what I mean, like in his little birdies and stuff oh, like the that. Information network. Yeah. You know, like who? How? How do they become the head of it? Kind of thing. So. Right. Well, I, you know, yeah, that's the thing. I think that always. Either it exists in some capacity, mm. you do some of what already you, you tap into what is already there, but you also build up a part of it yourself. Ah. Right. So I'm I'm guessing that's what's what happened with Otto, and that's what also happened with the spider. Mm. And then you know. I want to end on this. Okay. What do you think the he's sick with? So he Kyle's a doctor, a medical trained doctor. I'm scared. No, he's not. Yeah, no, yeah. No, he's so, not. so he's I, not. Uh, I, I know what I'm talking about, folks. Um, no, uh, you know, because he's it's getting two things. things all over his body now. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking it's not grayscale. It's not. It's not um, how it's manifesting on his body. Doesn't doesn't look like grayscale no, to me anymore. It's not scaly. Um, but it is some sort of sickness, some sort, it looks like some sort of necrosis, mm. right? Cause we're, especially with his fingers and other stuff, right? And so, now the bumps are the holes all over his body too, right? Exactly. So, so like that's, that's terrible cause it's basically eating him from the inside out. Mm. Um, so I don't know. Dragon it cancer. Could be, it could be, it could be medieval diabetes. Yeah. There you go. AKA sugar sickness. Yeah. The power right. of diabetes. Yes, from Someone South Park. Should probably drink his urine to see if it tastes sweet. Is that how you know? Th- that's how they used to figure. Oh, it out. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, back in the day. I wonder who's gonna get that job now. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, follow Kyle on Instagram. <laughs> that goes with the zero. He's an amazing, talented artist. Uh, go to Azart.space for all of our audio video links. We've been making cool shirts. This is Raised by Wolves. If you know it, great. It's a show on HBO Max. Oh, we even got a bear. Yep. House of the Bear of Tarly or whatever. I'm <laughs> But check it out. Go to azar.space. Kyle does the artwork for most of our shirts. Go check it out. Support the cause. Subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Azar. Yeah, those spots on the back. He looks like he's, he's starting to look yeah, looking pretty grody. <laughs> looking pretty, pretty, pretty grody. <laughs>